Hello and welcome to another computing video. Uh, this video is another video in my little sequence introducing JavaScript ECMA script version 5 uh, pretty quickly for people who might already know one or two programs programming languages and uh, don't mind a reasonably fast introduction. Uh, so the story so far, we've talked about how JavaScript is a dynamically typed language, how it's a weakly typed language. Uh, we've also talked uh, about how it's a curly brace language with uh, syntax and keywords that's quite similar to C and Java, and we've seen a few examples of that. Uh, in this video, um, I'm going to start off by talking about how functions can be values uh, in JavaScript. Uh, so what I've got here is I've declared a variable f and I've said f is going to equal the function that takes an argument i and returns i plus one uh, and so this is something that in um, Java in Java would possibly be a little bit more verbose at least in older versions of Java uh, but so let's just go and paste this in and so variable f is now going to be assigned its value is going to be uh, this function and I run that and it's perfectly happy and then if I go and call f with 1, f's value is this function. It should call this function and give me 2. And I run it, and sure enough, it does. It gives me 2. So I have put a function into a variable, and then I've called it uh, by calling it on that variable. OK. Now the next question I've got for you, a little bit of a puzzler. Pause the video and have a think about this. If I was to call f with the string 1, what would it produce? All right, and unpause the video. And so let us now go and find out. Uh, so if I go f with the string one and run it, I get the string one one. And so this is because JavaScript is a dynamically typed, weakly typed language. I haven't said that i is a number here. I've just said that whatever we get, whatever we're given as i, we're going to do i plus 1. And so here I've given it the string 1. And so it's doing the string 1 plus the number 1. Well, it's weakly typed. It'll decide, OK, the way I can do that is I can do string append by converting the number on the right hand side into a string. And so it becomes the string 1 plus the string 1. I get the string 1 1 gets returned. So in this case, uh, when I called it with a number, I got a number back. When I called it with a string, I got a string back. So uh, one of these situations in a dynamic, a weakly typed language where the type of the result seems to depend upon the type uh, that I pass into it, which can be one of the things that kind of uh, can cause you to have to scratch your head a little bit about what's going on in your program. If you get a larger program, or a, uh, program and a strange bug going on and you haven't been disciplined about what you've been passing around as your values into functions. Um, OK. So that's what that does. Uh, so it's dynamically typed and plus on strings is append. So when I passed in the string one, uh, string one plus one did a string append. OK, here's another little puzzler. Pause the video and think about this one. Um, variable f and its value is this function. What would I get if I said the string a plus f, which is this function? What's it going to output? All right, and unpause the video and let us give this a go. So let's, whoops, not bookmarks. Let us pop back over here and let us do what is a plus f. And we run it and we get the string a, string appended. Well, it looks like that function uh, turned into the text of that function, except you'll notice that it's got the semicolon here. So here I've not got a semicolon. Uh, JavaScript can infer uh, where it ought to put a semicolon sometimes and so there it has put the semicolon in for us all right that's what it produces what about if we did it this way what about if instead of saying var f is the anonymous function uh, declared there as a value what if i declared it in the traditional way function called f takes a parameter called i returns i plus one and then did a plus f so let us pop back across here and let us change how we're declaring f. So to function f of i return i plus 1, uh, string a plus f. And I'm just going to hit play and run that. And well, actually, it produces pretty much the same thing. Um, so here, function f of i return i plus 1, and it's inter inserted the semicolon for us. So once again, uh, it has... Uh, converted our function definition into a string 
Uh, did it produce it exactly the same? Let's go and have a look. Let's run that. Um, function i. So in the second case, I do have the f that was the name of the function. So the string it's produced is different, uh, but still, once again, it has converted my function into a string uh, in order to do a string append. Uh, and oops, many apologies. This version here is missing the f that I got. So that's a typo. That should have an f in there. So the moral of the story from this part, uh, functions can be values. You can set a variable to have as its value a function. And it's dynamically typed all the way, including the function arguments. Even functions themselves can end up getting converted into strings if you do, you know, string plus uh, that particular function. Dynamically, weakly typed all the way down. Um, and that's where I'm going to stop that video. And in the next video, we'll talk about what the types actually are in the language.